Less than three months into office and already Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs has taken on a wide range of issues. The opioid epidemic, literacy, the pension debate. Well, today he joins us to discuss some of those issues. And Mayor, we always appreciate your time. Thank you, Robin. Thank I you appreciate for being here. Being here. Let's talk about uh, the WWE first, though. Sure. And of course, the uh, Crown Jewel event is still set to happen. This despite um, some critics saying it should not go on. Some uh, wrestlers pulling out this all because of the, the murder of a, a journalist. You are set to wrestle. Are you going to continue at this point? I plan on it. I, I made a commitment to our first responders here in Knox County, and I'm sure. going to follow through on that. Do you think it's the right decision by the WWE to keep this uh, event going? I do. Um, we have a cultural impact in Saudi Arabia when we go there. Um, and I think it is very important. Uh, outreach just all around the world helps people understand each other better and realize that we're all human beings that really want the same thing and that's a good life. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's bring our, our attention back to East Tennessee. Sure. And of course, your role, less than three months in this office. And there have been some um, discussions, as we mentioned, concerning pension and some debates concerning that, which leads us to the question, who is in control in Knox County? Is it the Knox County mayor or is it the law director? Who do you think? Well, our charter is based on a system of checks and balances, much like the U.S. Constitution is. And everyone from the legislative branch, which is the commission, to the executive branch, which is me, the mayor, um, has a role in that. The law director is the county's lawyer. He's the lawyer for the commission and for the mayor's office. So see, he certainly has a role in that as well. And I, I think that that is a bigger issue here is defining those roles more, clear, more clearly, excuse me, especially when it comes to litigation, who can initiate litigation and who can stop litigation. In my opinion, it should be up to the commission and the mayor to tell the law director, yes, this is the law director can certainly recommend a suit but it should be up to the commission and the mayor to say, yes, we're gonna go ahead with this. I also believe if the commission and the mayor both say, we need to stop this, the suit needs to stop. Okay, we, we have so many issues we wanna to get to, but uh, that of course will continue to play out. We will be following it. But earlier this week, you were in Washington as the president signed a bill focusing on the opioid yes, epidemic. We know well that this is a, a huge problem in our community. Do you feel there's more that Knox County can do to address this problem here at home? We have to do more. This is, in my opinion, the issue of our generation, uh, really across America, but especially here in East Tennessee and the whole Appalachian region because we've been hit so hard. Um, I think one thing that we need to do is we just need to open up our lines of communication with everybody. Mayor O'Hara and I last week had an opioid summit. Uh, it went really well, and one of the things that we talked about was identifying the gaps in just this issue overall. Who's providing what service, what needs to be done. And we did just, we had table discussion afterwards. In our table, we talked about some things that's like, oh wow, that's a really good idea. Or, you know, uh, someone from the chamber was there and they, they do that. They help mm -hmm. small business with drug testing. And there's a small business person there that did not know that. Um, so it's identifying those gaps and just making a concerted effort. I'm really happy to work with the Metro Drug Coalition, the MDC. I think they do a great job and uh, spearheading this effort. And we really just need to build a huge community coalition that can take this issue on. Well, once again, another issue we will be following. Wish we had more time to discuss more issues, but we always appreciate you and your time. Thank you very much. Thank Robin. you, Mayor.